Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all. I just want to chat with y'all. Yeah, this is another hip-hop video and also like a video based on lyricism because that's pretty much what these two artists are based on. Both of these artists are like lyrical masters. You know, I mean, they're 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 both grandmasters. They're both they're both grandmasters. If you ask me, both of these lyricists, they're like tenth degree black belts. The two lyricists that I'm gonna discuss with y'all is Lupe Fiasco and King Crooked. Lupe Fiasco versus King Crooked. Who would win in a battle between Lupe Fiasco versus King Crooked? Yeah, my fellow, my fellow Slaughterhouse fans, y'all know who King Cricket is. King Cricket, aka Cricket. I, but yeah, Lupe Fiasco versus King Cricket. Who would win in a battle? Let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. I'm gonna give you my answer, like I do as always. This battle would be extremely a classic. I remember like Lupe Fiasco, like he, he even stated something in like a, I think it was like a small video that he did where he was kind of like reacting to that comedian doing, um, doing like Eminem rapping or whatever. I remember like Lupe Fiasco when he mentioned Joe Budden and Eminem. I remember he stated that he'll destroy Eminem and Joe Budden in a rap battle, but like he also stated he doesn't want no smoke. And if you ask me, I I told y'all before, like Lupe Fiasco is better than Eminem. I mean, Eminem and Lupe Fiasco, they're both two lyricists that are in my top five but if you ask me Lupe Fiasco is better than Eminem like if you want to talk about lyricists that that could that that can that have the potential to be Eminem in a battle now if you ask me am I saying that like if you ask me I don't I don't feel that Lupe Fiasco could destroy Eminem in a battle but I do feel he could be Eminem like both Lupe Fiasco and King Cricket, I do feel that these two lyricists could be Eminem in a battle. Yeah, Lupe Fiasco, King Cricket, and battle rapper Daylight. But yeah, King and 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 and, and same thing with King Cricket. Like King Cricket, King Cricket. If you listen to his Shade Cotton freestyle, King Cricket's Shade Cotton freestyle is 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 phenomenal. Like, 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 you don't really get, you don't really get that type of lyricism in mainstream hip hop. Like, yeah, if, if you haven't heard King Cricket's Shade Cotton freestyle, King Cricket, he definitely killed it on that freestyle. Like, King Cricket is not a lyricist to play with, but King Cricket and Lupe Fiasco, both of these lyricists are underrated, but they're both 10th degree black belts at what they do. They're both grandmasters at their craft. But again, I'm going to give you my answer. But yeah, like I said, this battle would be extremely debatable. King Cricket versus Lupe Fiasco... I feel that in this battle, I feel that Lupe Fiasco would edge the victory. Do I feel Lupe Fiasco could easily destroy King Cricket? No. No, I don't. I, I do feel that this is a battle that could go either way, too. But I, I, I would say Lupe Fiasco would edge the victory. I feel that in this battle that Lupe Fiasco would barely win. Like, Lu like, Lupe Fiasco is an underrated lyricist, and just like King Cricket is an underrated ly lyricist, I'm pretty sure, like, King Cricket is not in a, in a whole lot of people's top five or top ten, but King Cricket is definitely a lyricist that, that, that deserves the same amount of respect that Eminem gets, and Nas, and Jay-Z. Like, King Cricket is a lyricist that does deserve to be on the top of the list. Like, King Cricket. Yeah, like, King Cricket. And, and that's another thing, too. Like, with King Cricket on his Twitter, you know, there's times where, like, you know, where he just wants to talk rap music. 
you know, I'm, I mean, King Cricket is a lyricist that definitely has a love for rap. He's definitely a lyricist that definitely has a passion for this. King Cricket is definitely a lyricist that studied the art form of rap. Same thing with Eminem. Same thing with Lupe Fiasco. Like, all three of these lyricists, they both study the art form of rap. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, they really have, a like, a passion for this, a love for this, but... In a battle, I got I got Lupe Fiasco, like like barely winning this battle. But this battle would be one of the greatest battles in hip hop history. Yeah, because the the battle between Lupe Fiasco and Royce the Five Nine, I always knew Lupe Fiasco was better than Royce the Five Nine, and Royce the Five Nine was talking about wondering why King Cricket and Joel Ortiz didn't come and help him in the battle. Well, no disrespect to Royce the Five Nine, but that that was between you and Lupe Fiasco. I mean, yeah, like Joel Ortiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the beef between between Royce the Five Nine and Lupe Fiasco that was between Royce the Five Nine and Lupe Fiasco. Joel Ortiz and King Cricket didn't have nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? When it's a battle that's between you and another artist, it's between you, like, like, like your group of mates, your, your, your label mates. They don't really have nothing to do with it. But yeah, I always knew Lupe Fiasco was better than Royce the Five Nine. But Royce the Five Nine is a lyricist that's in my top ten. Do I rank Lupe Fiasco above Royce the Five Nine? Yeah, Lupe Fiasco was in my top five. And that's another thing, too. Lupe Fiasco, he, he did an IG live where he was breaking it down, like like giving giving tips on, on how on how to like beat him in a battle, on how to beat him in a rap battle. I did it myself too. I mean, like I said before, like you know, if if you trying to beat me in a rap battle, if you trying to defeat me, if you get me to go first in a rap battle, you have a chance of winning. But if you go first in, in a rap battle, it's pretty much over for you. It's pretty much over for you because I'm a rebuttal you and you're not going to be able to come back. You know, it's pretty much over for you if you go first in the battle. You got to get me to go first. You got to keep coming at me. You got to keep attacking me. I have to feel like I'm threatened so I can defend myself. But yeah, but, 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 but yeah, see, but, 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 but that, it's pretty much with the way I broke it down is simple. Lupe Fiasco, he broke, he broke it like, like way down. He, he broke it down with a lot of information where he was explaining that, 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 that with him wanting to be defeated in a, in a rap battle, like he wants to be defeated in style. Yeah. Lupe Fiasco was like a highly intelligent individual. But yeah, like Lupe Fiasco versus King Cricket, this is a battle between two grandmasters. This is a battle between two 10th degree black belts. Who would win in a battle between Lupe Fiasco versus King Cricket? My fellow Lupe Fiasco fans, my fellow Slaughterhouse fans, my fellow King Cricket fans, who y'all got? Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, love y'all.